My name is Marcus Freeman. I'm from Washington, D.C., and I'm 18 years old. I just graduated from Theodore Roosevelt Senior High School. I've been interested in cooking ever since I was a little boy, whether it be in the kitchen with my mom or at a family reunion on the grill. At the age of four, um, his mom cooks a lot and he would always want to go in the kitchen and cook. At the age, I think, nine or 10, they started going to the grocery store and he would help her out with that. He could, like, the best ribs. By the time I got in 11th grade and found out there was a culinary arts program, it was just uh, a ring in the head for me. Culinary arts, you can do bigger things. Uh, own restaurant, be a head chef of a restaurant. I'll look at Marcus and I will talk about him forever. I say, oh, look at Marcus, he did this, you know, and the other students will hear me say his name. He was fun to be around, very tenacious, um, dedicated, passionate about everything that he does. When I'm cooking, I don't want no mistakes. I like consistency, having everything perfect, where it's supposed to be, and on task. He said, what can I do next? What do I do next, chef? What do I do next, chef? He was pretty much just very passionate and he was willing to do whatever it took to get the job done. This program is a wonderful program because it helps you not only to be dedicated to what you do, but to be um, ready for the professional world. It's four weeks of preparing the kids with the business plans, getting them to the mentoring sessions, getting them to come up with their menus, getting them to practice their menus, and just going over all the fundamentals of culinary art. It was a little stressful. The most important perspective I took was that if you're going to do anything, put your all into it. I cried when they announced the winner. And, you know, I thought Marx was going to win, but I didn't want to be too sure or confident. And then he did such a great job, he did win it. I was very excited, very excited. All I can remember was, God is good. That's all I remember. I can remember sitting there thinking, wow. I, I was picturing myself having my own restaurant, just, just, just doing it. Being a head chef of a restaurant and just doing my thing. My restaurant will be a fine dining, fine dining restaurant, which will um, provide American cuisine with a Caribbean twist. Nasir's, Nasir's Restaurant Lounge. It's my nephew's name, actually. Nasir. That was excellent. Due to the fact that she never had none of my food, um, it was it felt it felt good, you know, serving some of my food instead of her serving me this time. This is uh, honey pecan chicken breast with uh, herb sauteed potatoes. I look at Marcus and I use him as an example and say, "You can do it too." <laughs> Always remember that you create your own future. He's like our role model now. Yeah, I'm the older one. <laughs> One favor, please don't stop cooking for me when you get there. <laughs> I'll start. <laughs> be passionate about what you do. Whether it be anything, anything. Whether it be food, playing sports, uh, doing the essay, you know, anything. Is there anything that um, <laughs> at this point? Um, no. And they was happy for me. They knew. Oh. <laughs> now, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs>